So today I'm going to show you how to make a way big costume from the Ben 10 cartoon. Um, I'm sure parts of this are wrong because I've still never seen the cartoon, and also cartoon characters' proportions are generally not the same as real human body proportions. So I had to improvise a little. So I started by just taking an old bottle cap, and then I cut a long strip of white paper, and I glued that onto the side of the bottle cap to cover up the ridges, and I glued that all the way around. Then cut off the excess. So then I glued a circle of white paper right onto the top to cover up all the pressed to open uh, information on there. And then I just kind of roughly drew out the hourglass with a pencil, and then I painted on the black surrounding the hourglass. And then once that was done, I painted on the green. And um, this is a slightly weird color of green because I couldn't um, get my other color green unthawed, long story, but so I just used this kind of minty green. So then I got a white shirt from the Salvation Army. And I cut that red piece out of some red fabric with the little circle and the point. And then I just hot glued that onto the chest. And then I took a black fabric marker and drew all those black lines that he had on him. At least that's what I saw in the pictures that I googled. And so I think there were like three of them, so that's I drew the, the big little part on the top and then three lines. So then I just took a little bit of glue, ran that all the way around the bottom of that bottle cap, and just stuck that right into the center of the red spot. So then for the little fins on his arm, I cut a piece out of craft foam. You can also do this out of cardboard. Just make sure it's big enough to go around your arm. And then cut two circles big enough to go around your wrist. Cut a little slit so that they can slip around your wrist. And then for the shoulder pieces, cut two triangles with a little rounded bottom. And so then I just painted them so the arm fins are red with the black lines. And the wrist circles are just red and the shoulder points are just red. Then I took some old white gloves, and the little red circles will go right around those to go under the wrists like that, and the shirt sleeves will cover up the end of the gloves. So I took some stretchy elastic, and I cut a piece big enough to go on my wrist, and a piece big enough to go just under my elbow. Then I put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of those, and um, I found out you want to do this before you paint your foam or your cardboard, because otherwise the glue is just attaching to the paint, and the paint comes off. So if you glue these on before you paint, then you won't have to worry about them ripping off, because the glue will adhere right to the cardboard or the craft foam. And then you'll have two little stretchy loops you can just slip through your arm. And so then for the shoulder pieces, I glued a piece of elastic to one side, and pulled it around and glued it to the other side, make kind of a little loop at the bottom, and that'll just go up over my arm to sit on my shoulders. So then I got a pair of white boots. These are actually my Princess Leia boots, so normally I would have just painted the red lines on them, but since I want to still use them for Princess Leia, I just cut the long red triangles out of some red fabric and put some elastic on the bottom of them so I could just slip them over the boots like that. So the face is the hardest part because it doesn't match anything like a human head. So I cut the basic part out of a piece of craft foam, cut a couple eye holes so I could see, and then painted on all the details. You can also do this out of cardboard if you want instead. And so then just paint the eyes green and the bottom red, and then all the black lines there. And so then I took two old thread spools and painted the tops of them that same green color, just like that. And then painted the body silver on each of them, metallic silver. And then I just glued those on the bottom right to the front of the mask so that those are the two little parts that stick out on Waybig's face. And so there they are. A little weird looking, but not too bad. And so for the fin that goes on the top of that, I cut a piece out of craft foam and painted it red with the black line. And then just put a little bit of glue along the edge of it and glued that right to the center of the face mask. And so then on the back side of it, I ran a line of glue and I stuck a piece of yarn right in that glue so I'll be able to tie it around my head. So then to hide the rest of my head, I just took an old shirt that was black 
and then my head goes through where the neck hole usually would be, as that hides the rest of my head. So I just got a pair of white pants from the Salvation Army to finish it off. I hate this part. Ow.